Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler had fun on Yagi, her brain fried. What is up? I love basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. Today I'm gonna be helping you finish over any defender. With me today I have some collegiate players who are gonna demonstrate some of the drills and things that we do. I'm gonna show them and show you exactly what I teach all of my players when attacking the basket. Let's get to it. Number one thing when attacking the basket, the most important thing to me is gonna be able to draw contact. So right now we're gonna work on one just on the ground, a very basic one, something that has to be done. So for you guys, we're gonna drive baseline. Should be about one, two dribbles maximum. On your second dribble, you're gonna slam the basketball and jump stop into me. I need you to hit me with your shoulder and then just make an easy left hand layup. Can you lead the way? Go ahead. Bump and finish. Super easy, that's all it is. Slam the basketball. Bump and finish. Go ahead. Good. Bump and finish. Perfect. Good finish. I got it. I got it. Go. Good bump. Make sure you keep the ball away. Go ahead. One more. Last one. Good. Much better. That's okay. Two most common problems we're going to see with this is bringing the ball closer to the defense, which is number one. Two, mistiming the bump. And then the last one is actually bumping in the wrong direction. So some players, when they get into this bump, they're actually gonna bump the defense closer to the basket here and then try to finish here. What we're trying to do is bump up the line here towards the opposite elbow. Because if you can bump in this direction, now you're moving the defense out of the way to then finish the layup. You don't wanna bump them towards where you're trying to go. Does that make sense? So when you bump me, move me up the line in this direction. Try one more time. Just two, two bumps here. Up the line, finish. Good, now don't bring the ball close to me. Perfect. You see how they're being strong with the basketball? They're either keeping it away from me or tucking it into here. But what you don't wanna do is bump somebody and bring the ball towards them, which is normal to do because you're bringing your body this way. So just make sure that you don't do that. For our second finish here, we're getting into a veer step. Again, we're drawing contact on the ground, but with this one, we're actually going off of one leg. So we're gonna take one step forward with the left leg, the second step into defense with that right leg. The most common problem with this one is just like before, when players step here forward and then step into defense, they bring the ball there. What I like to teach is putting the back of your hand on your ear. So if you come in, left foot, right foot, now you can bump the defense here, here, here without fouling them. The ball stays away and if they try to reach it, it's gonna be a foul to that face. So let's keep that ball over here by that shoulder. One step forward, one step into me. One, two, good, nicely done. One, two, no. You wanna go forward, then into me, okay. One, two, good. So the only thing you can do better is don't bring the ball towards me. One, two, yep. One step forward, then the second step into me. One, two, not bad. Oh, you can't take three steps. See, this stuff's not easy. One, two, good. There it is, much better. Yep, last two right here, last two. One, two, not bad. Finish it. One, two, up. Almost, almost, that's okay. This is a lot harder on the left side than it is the right side when you start to learn how to do it, of course. But the biggest thing is, and Dom, you, yours is the best, but you're too far away from me, right? And so what you, can, what you wanna do is kind of analyze what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, what I'm saying, it's almost there, it's, it's, that's right. Some things that we try to see is when Dom did, took his first step, he was so far away that now he's trying to jump about three, four feet to get into contact when you only wanna be about a foot away and then just get a nice little nudge and get straight into that finish, right? Either bringing the ball towards me or taking three steps or mistiming it. You wanna get left hand dribble and right foot step. So we'll break it down even slower. And then you're gonna bring it here to the shoulder, one, two, and finish. So let's get a couple of good ones. Start right here. One, two, finish. That's perfect. One, two, perfect. One, two, perfect. There it is, that's all it is. Now when you do it, do it again. Now when you do it, hold the ball on your shoulder so I can't touch it. Go ahead. One, two, now when you do it, hold the ball on your shoulder so I can't touch it. You keep holding the ball right here in front of your face. That's literally handing it to me. All right, go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. other hand, other hand, other hand. Left hand dribble. One, two. So do it one more time, go ahead. I'll let you bump me. Just bump me, okay? Go ahead. One. Don't bring the ball towards me. 
show them, show them how to do one correctly. One, two. Now I can't touch the ball. Right, so we're trying to keep that ball away right there. Go ahead. Last one. Come on, you got it. You got it. One, two, almost, almost. You did everything right, but you got to bump more. Right, it's super important that you bump. Yep, you got to hit me more. Obviously, when you break it down, things get easier. So for you, that's a really good, easy way to break it down. It's just taking that one dribble, that one step, and then you get your one, two. And you can recognize what people are doing wrong. And oftentimes, it's not easy to do this stuff because you haven't been taught it before. So the first one we're working on is that jump stop, right? Making sure that we draw that contact, we keep the ball away. The second one, we're not doing a jump stop. We're taking one step forward, one step into defense, right? But we gotta, again, keep the ball away. We gotta find the right distance on how we wanna bump where we wanna bump. You don't wanna drop your shoulder and get into an offensive foul where you're pushing people, but you also wanna make sure that you can create contact, create space, so then you can get a much easier finish. Now our next finish is a much more athletic finish. We are still getting into contact, but I wanna teach this one in the air. Even for my young players, I teach this finish. For you guys, again, I'm gonna break this down and I'm not gonna rush into it. What we're gonna do is start here. We're gonna get one dribble and get into a jump stop. But with this jump stop, okay, your footwork is gonna be left, right. So the reason for that is because when we take steps outside than inside, we can then push our body to the inside. So I'm gonna take a dribble, left hand, right foot, boom. When I jump stop, I'm gonna land outside foot, inside foot. So now I can push myself this way. Does that make sense? Perfect. For right now, for your first rep, you're doing one dribble, jump stop. You're gonna try to touch the ball to the net and then finish the layup and I'll explain why afterwards. So it's here, boom, jump stop. Try to touch the net and then finish that layup right there. One dribble. Not bad, start, so start, start a little bit closer, start a little bit closer, yeah. Here, go ahead. Not bad, not bad. Off two feet, so not off one foot. You're going off two feet. You want to land both feet. There you go, there you go. Way better, way better, way better. So what we're trying to do, hold the ball. What we're trying to do is teach players to, of course, land in a nice wide base, push the ball to the rim, and I'm gonna explain why, and then bring it back and finish. So this is a great way to practice it, learn it on your own. Now, play defense down there at the bottom. So now, let's say that you're on the other side, okay? In, a, in reality, I'm over here, I get past my defender, help side steps up to go ahead and block my shot. If I do what most youth players do, is I'm gonna go up and attack the basket or do some sort of fade away or, or some sort of crazy shot, it's not gonna work. What I wanna do with every time I attack the basket is either finish or draw contact for free throws. So when I attack this one, I'm landing in a nice wide base. This gives me a few options, right? But what we're working on now is that I'm gonna jump into my defender on top of him. And you see how his body leans back like that? That's perfect for me. Because now, even if he has a 50 inch vertical, because I jumped on top of him, it might only be 20 or 10 or five. So I jump on top of him, boom, the ball is here. So where do his hands go? Where I want them to go. Then I bring the ball back to my shoulder and I can finish that layup. So now when it comes back here and his hands are there, his body's there, because I just jumped on top of him, the only way for him to reach it is to swipe down. So I'll kind of walk through it like a little bit faster, just so you see it. But I'm coming here, boom, boom, jump on top, and then I'm finishing out there. But there's no way he's getting that basketball without having to go through my body, without getting it into a foul, right? So now, same thing, we'll go through that drill. Go ahead. Into it, finish, beautiful. Good up, nice, really, really good. Great job. Oh, you gotta make that, come on. Beautiful, one more each, one more each. See how much they're jumping on top of me? It's the angle of the body that counts. Good, great stuff. Get up, beautiful. Yours is the best, great job. Get up, that's perfect, that's perfect. So those are three contact finishes that you absolutely have to have in your bag. Obviously, it's not easy because a lot of players aren't taught how to do these kinds of things. So what we're gonna do is rep these out even more. We'll do the same thing on the right side. It's very important that you're good with both hands around the basket. In our next video, we're gonna talk about a lot more athletic finishes as well as you should be adding to your bag. We'll catch you guys there. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.